Hey guys, I thought this would be a nice mellow one to do. Now then, this is my arrangement of this song, um, and I'm gonna already swap something out. There is a seven on the tab, before you get into your... But I quite like just hitting a zero, and just hitting the open E. I love doing that. I just think that's oh, sublime. <laughs> You could also do, because you'll get into it, I know you will when you get it in your fingers, you could also sort of hit that and then open or pull it off as you see fit. So really up to you what you want to do with that beginning. I, I like doing both, so I might start with the E. And then the next one, maybe hit that seven and then pull off. So there you go, that's, that's my confession. <laughs> Now then, the shape I'm moving back so effortless, effortlessly, why is that word so hard to say for so many people, okay, is essentially an F chord on the fifth fret, but I've just moved my index finger up just a smidge. So rather than playing it like that, because I could, I play it like that, and that sets me up nicely for the second shape. So pop an F chord down, and if, if this sounds like gobbledygook to you, Go back down to open and just go, okay, F chord, F chord. If it's not the bar chord, then it's the two on the bottom. All right, and then second fret on your G string, third fret on your D string. And then just slide it up to fifth fret. And then you're there. And then, like I said, you just want to move this guy up one string, one string towards your face, okay? And then you just pluck. Now, you, you'll notice already, I, I mix this up. <laughs> sometimes it's a, sometimes it's a... Again, very much up to you. Go with the mood of the day. <laughs> if the sun's shining, you might want to have a lazy one, you know, just sort of stagger it. So all I'm doing there, I suppose you could say I'm slightly rolling my hand. It's very slight. I'll go slow. And it's one after another, I'm just plucking those strings. All right. But you could just do that. You could do that as well if you prefer. Depends on the guitar and the guitarist. But anyway, that's your first shape. And then you slide it back one fret that way and lift off your middle finger. Now you guys are all very well behaved, lovely people. Never swear at anybody, but <laughs> if it helps you remember it, then I <laughs> tend to say swear at your audience. Because that might make you go, oh yeah, 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 I remember what I have to do, okay? So F chord, back one, swear at the audience. know there's somebody very polite out there going I don't know what this swearing is because <laughs> you're just little angels okay so that's the main that's the main bulk of that song you know that's the top line so now we're just looking at the timing so we've got lots of squigglies in here we've got lots of crotchet rests or uh, quarter note rests you'd go one two three hit the seven or the open note whichever you prefer I'll hit the seven for the sake of you being able to follow the tab so I'll go one two three four and then one, two, three, four. Hopefully you can hear that timing and why I said, you know, sometimes quavers, you can, the tendency is to go too fast with them, right? Now this song, it's written there is 60 beats per minute. It is slow. So we don't want to be going But for the purposes of getting through this tutorial, I will probably go a little bit of a speed, but I want you to really chill out with this. So you could go, for instance, one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, and slow it down as you see fit, because it really is up to you anyway. All right, but that's the timing. So let's use some words on this. We could go T, 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 coffee, T, T, coffee. And then into the next bar, that is the equivalent of bar one again. It's just that you've got a minimum rest there instead of two crotchet rests. Or a uh, half note <laughs> rest instead of two quarter note rests. So you would go again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you can see in the next bar on the next line, you've got another minimum rest, which is also a two or another half note rest. So let's put that whole beginning phrase together because once you've got that in your fingers, it's more or less simple to follow. More 
more or less. I know this isn't easy peasy lemon squeezy, but you you see the shape. So even if you're not reading, okay, seven six five five six four 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 four. Even if you're just reading F slide back, F slide back, you can at least see when they come. And I must admit that tends to be how I read tab after a while when I'm really familiar with it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's that shape. And if I count it, I do it one, two, three, four times. Right, much easier to read it that way. Okay, so that top line one last time, and let's do it with mnemonics this time. So tea and coffee. So T, 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 coffee, tea, tea, coffee, tea, 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 coffee, tea, tea, coffee. Okay then, line two, and we're coming down to second fret, we're gonna slide two to four. We're gonna use our ring finger. So this guy that can't lift very well, because then that sets us up nicely so that the index can catch the two on the D string. So all of those forward slashes that you see on this line are slides. There's a lot of S's, <laughs> a lot of sibilants in this line. Cool. So like I said before, we've got a two beat rest. So we'd go one, two, three, four. That's your timing. If I count it one and two and three and four and you'll get it better, I think. So one and two and three and four and... Okay, very quick recap on sliding. Remember, you've got to keep your pressure down. So if I went... It's not sliding. So you've got to keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Take it off then if you want and then rock back onto it. That's fine. Otherwise it might ring it can get a little bit too intense. Okay, there you go. Quick little tutorial on sliding. Right, and then we've got six to four after that. Again, I would probably stick with um, my ring finger because of what's coming up. Yeah, for that final little ditty at the end, shall we say. So just me personally, I would stick with the ring finger. So again, um, bar six, you would go um, one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and sorry went into the next bar as well because you can see they're the same okay let's go bar five into six and seven so remember we rest first but just make sure you got your two to four and you're happy with your sliding and your pressure's on so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and and you'll notice I'm leaving those ringing I know you've got crotchet or quarter note rest straight after it but as I've said many times with my videos I've put those in so that you can see the beats otherwise I would have had it as like a uh, minimum tied to a, a quaver because I want you to leave it down and ring it let it ring but sometimes things like that confuse people on tab because it's not always very clear so that's why there's so many squiggles. But yeah, just leave it down. You can kind of tell, right? You can tell by your ear. You're like, ooh, that sounds nice. And you can wiggle it a little bit if you want some vibrato. I will say as well, my thumb is around third fret at this point. And then it comes off here when I'm sliding back down in a sec. So let's try it again, this time with mnemonics. So we're talking T's, my friends. <laughs> so we would go, let's get my ring finger ready. T, T, coffee, 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 T, T, coffee, coffee, T, T, coffee, coffee, into that next bar. And I've gotten ahead of myself, haven't I? So that final bar, bar eight, we're going to slide back down on our ring finger still. Coffee, T, T, and then I get it straight back up for my fours and my two. I mean, I could do this shape. This is the kind of shape that will come out of my fingers if I'm in a panic and I didn't prepare correctly. <laughs> Ideally, let's have a good old think about this. Ideally, I think I want to use my little finger, but that, again, that might not happen in the heat at the moment. I would probably rock it a little bit. Okay, let's go through that whole line. I'll make sure this guy stays up here this time. So he keeps sneaking off, cheeky. All right, so one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, 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 four, one
two, three, four. And as I was playing that, it came back to me how I normally play this. I normally ignore that final slide and I pull it off. I go four to two, so ring finger to index. Remember, you pluck the, sh you make sure the notes are down and then you pluck the string and then pull off just one of them, not all of them, otherwise you'll get that. So I go four to two, pull off, and then I'm ready, set up for the next bit. Because the four, four, two, can you see you've got a little free there? You've got free quavers in the time of two or three eighth notes in the time of two eighth notes. So you're squeezing them in basically. So it's fairly quick. Up the neck we go then, my friends. I love this bit, this is my favorite bit, so pretty. Okay, so 12 and 13, I'm gonna go middle finger and ring finger. I know, right, you're already thinking, why? Because, because of where we're going. I'm gonna want to slide back, keeping that shape, so if you think of it this way, honestly, this is the way I remember it. I think 12 first in this formation, then I think 10, and then I think, <laughs> you'll laugh at this, I think pudding finger on nine. I don't know why, I just think splat with pudding, splat. So I splat down my index so that I'm covering my G and my B string, and that's my nines. And all I'm doing is plucking with my index and my middle finger over here. So the whole thing, if I put it together, you have a whole bar of rest there. I won't count you in that, you'll be bored. Um, but yeah, just to give you an idea of how it goes, we go one, two, three, four. And that's probably the hardest part, getting the free quavers in the time of two quick enough. But remember, it's a slow song, so you could go. And that's fine. Um, yeah, it's worth me mentioning as well. If we look at bar 10 into 11, I do have a, a little trick up my sleeve. I'll slide down. I'll go put in fingers, and then I'll put that back down onto 10 and slide it into 12. So it's almost like there's a sneaky grace note in between those two bars, almost on the bar line, where I'm going from the 10 straight up to the 12. I just like doing it. I find I can find 12 quicker that way. But you don't have to. You could just go... And that's cleaner. So to each their own. So let's talk about, well, let's just revise. Let's revise the timing then. So we're gonna go, this time I will count you in. I will go from bar nine, that blank bar, and we'll go straight in. And we'll go into bar 10 and 11 because then you can hear that sequence when you get back to 12 and 13, all right? So I'll go, I'll wake my monitor up because it keeps trying to sleep on me. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? And if you think of this in terms of phrases, or little blocks, patterns, whatever you want to think of, think of that as the phrase in this section, and then that just repeats, so you do that one more time. So that's kind of reassuring, right? So it's, it's not all brand new material at the end of the line, you've already done it. So it's all good and gravy in the world. Okay, so <laughs> let's do that again, shall we? And I will do some, I'll do some mnemonics and I think I'll call that little free in the time of two a Jessica. It's a quick Jessica. So we would go T, 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 coffee, T, T, Jessica, coffee, T, 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 repeat, coffee, T, T, Jessica, coffee, tea, tea, tea. Surprisingly hard to say <laughs> Jessica and move at the same time. Should we do it one more time, guys? Why not? Let's do it one more time. So, shall I, and let's, I'll maybe count you, I think. I think maybe counting, and then I, then I won't have a brain fart. So, one, two, three, four. 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 And then here is where it changes, but it's simple. It's nice and friendly. So you just go 12 to 10. You're just sliding. So you already know it, really. It's just that it's easier. That's all you're going to do. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? We can do this. We can do this. You got this. You got this, okay? So. We're just going to go uh, looking at bar 14 and you're going to go cough, sorry, 
Here we go. Coffee, tea, tea, tea. Coffee, tea, tea, tea. Coffee, tea, tea, tea. Coffee, tea, tea, tea. And I'll count it as well. So one, two, three, four. 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 And I'm sure you can see there are shortcuts when you get happy with that nine being there. You can just plonk it down, take it straight off, and keep the bar there. The bar doesn't always have to be completely at 90 degrees. It's fine if it's at a slight angle. Same with your capo, in fact. As long as you've got the pressure down and you're not warping any of the notes, all is well. Good, all right then. Let's go all the way through this, and then I will also give you a bit of backing so that you can practice playing along to the backing, because it's just two chords, essentially, if we do it my nice, simple way. So, <laughs> I'll see if I can zoom myself out. Look at this, look at the production values, it's fantastic. This way you can see everything I'm doing. So here we go, from the beginning, and I'm gonna swap out my seven for an open note, okay? I quite like the E, so we're going for the open note. So I'm gonna go, one, two, three, And then at that point, you'll be so happy, you'll just go round again. But as I've said before, that was fast. You could feel that was fast, right? So that was just for the purposes of this video, getting it all out there. <laughs> so you got all the information. Um, you can slow this down, don't forget. You can slow down YouTube videos and you can speed them up as well. But I always say 75 is the best. I like 75, it's a good speed for learning, right? Okay, I'm gonna give you a nice chilled out backing now with chords E major. <laughs> F sharp minor. Those are the only ones I'm going to use. I'm going to keep it very nice and easy. I'm just going to do it as it's written all the way through. So here we go. I will count you in and we're starting. One, two, three. Well done. So there you go, that's Albatross, and I really hope you enjoy playing this it's to your heart's content, really. So take it slow, take it mellow, have a great time. Thank you for watching. See you again soon, guys. Bye!